Early in 2015, I went to Nian Polytechnic in Singapore, where I ran a University of Adelaide course called Curriculum Development and Innovation for Masters of Education students. The students themselves were lecturers from all the faculties of the Polytechnic. At the beginning of the course, I introduced the Research School Development Framework, or RSD, a model designed to be adapted by users to suit their specific contexts and goals. As a stimulus to deepen the students' understanding of the RSD, I showed them an example adaptation by mechanical engineering tutors. These tutors took the RSD and reconfigured it into the optimising problem-solving pentagon to suit their use with 300 first-year students. In a similar way, the master's students at Nian Polytechnic were asked to adapt the RSD to their own contexts and disciplines. The RSD articulates researching and problem-solving processes in the form of six different facets. Where the term facet is suggestive of one precious conceptual jewel with different sides. The six facets are an admittedly artificial separation, but articulate the complexities of active learning processes. Such an articulation is important in an educational environment where the move from leaving processes implicit to making them explicit helps students guide their own learning. Enabling students to make their own thinking visible is often called metacognition, a powerful driver of self-directed learning. In groups of five, the students produced innovative adaptations of the RSD, which provided different and insightful perspectives of researching, problem solving or critical thinking, depending on disciplinary emphases. One group kept the facet descriptions the same, but reconfigured the arrangement See picture one. Another group kept the same arrangement, but changed the terminology that's shown in picture two. And two groups reconfigured the arrangement into a jigsaw puzzle, suggesting interdependence of facets and anything but linearity in complex processes like researching and problem solving. The purpose of requiring students to reconfigure the RSD was to deepen their conceptual understanding of the framework. This was important for four reasons. Firstly, the RSD was the conceptual framework for the course that they were enrolled in. Secondly, they were required to use it as a framework to guide flipped classroom design. If you'd like to see more on this, click on the second pod, which shows examples of students assignment one flipped classroom designs. Thirdly, the RSD Pentagon was used to frame evaluative questions that could be used for assignment two, which concerned the development of a whole coherent curriculum. To see more on this, click on the third part. Finally, the RSD was used to frame the assessment marking criteria, or rubrics, for both assignments, so high levels of engagement required by the three strategies above were used to facilitate student understanding of the marking criteria. This has proven to be important because our research on RSD use has suggested that many students have difficulty understanding assessment criteria of any kind and frequently fail to engage with it in a learning orientated way. Because marking criteria from both assignments were based around the same six facets, this provided a focus on the processes that students use to develop the flipped classroom, assignment one, and the whole curriculum, assignment two. Indeed, when used to frame assessment criteria, the RSD facets emphasize looking for the evidence of the process in the product. In practical terms, this means that quite different assessment tasks can be assessed when framed by the same overarching processes, whereas traditionally we emphasise the marking of product structure, which require quite different marking criteria each time.